Why was six afraid of seven? Because <laughs> seven, eight, nine. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Figurative language is hilarious. Figurative language is when you use something that goes against the literal meaning, but you're trying to get a different message across. You know, figurative language can be everywhere, even in the palm of your hand. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> figurative language is crazy. My favorite type of figurative language is a pun. Why? Well, let's talk about it. But a, a pun is a play on words that sound similar but have different meanings. For example, I was wondering why the ball was getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it hit me. Another type of figurative language is an onomatopoeia, which is a word that imitates a sound. Bam, pow, zap, zap. Onomatopoeia is typically used in comic books. Oh, oh, and here's another one, personification. Personification is basically giving human characteristics to animals or objects, basically things that just aren't human. Here's an example. Uh, my alarm yelled at me this morning, but you know, I just let it go because I was so tired, I could have slept for a million years. Speaking about hyperboles, hyperbole is something that's said but not meant to be taken literally. You know, I have so much fun with figurative language and I think it's a great way to express myself. I'm Kendall with BDTV. Thanks for not leafing, guys. <laughs>
thousand walking hours. So I think it's safe to say that school is a big part of everyone's lives. I don't know about you, but I know that I take pride in my school. I'm Kendall with Winter Haven High School, and today we're going to be talking about school spirit. Thank you. You know, it came to me the other day that we do not have that much life to live. And the life that we do live is spent deciding what we want to be in the future. All I know is that going to school and getting involved in school activities is a great way to help develop skills of communication, teamwork, and even time organization, which all can help you get a job in the future. You know, despite what you may think, school isn't just about cramming knowledge into our brains. It's actually about preparing us for our future. Because one second you're a freshman in your biology class, and the next you're walking across the stage getting your diploma. It all happens so fast. It happens in a blink of an eye. Centered among a hundred lakes, home of the blue and gold. And you know what? If football's not for you, Winter Haven has plenty of options. Ten hunts! <gasps> Now I'm at our school's gymnasium. And you know, coming out to our school's gymnasium and watching volleyball or basketball games is also a great way to help show some school spirit. And you know, I heard that our basketball team is doing amazing this year. We're actually moving on to districts and we're 14 and three. As a child turns two, their imagination really starts to develop. And as your imagination develops, you find activities that you love. And here at Winter Haven High School, we have activities for everyone. I'm Kendall with BDTV. Go find something you love and support at Winter Haven. I think that we all can agree over the past two years, COVID has affected everyone in many different ways. But the main thing that COVID has affected is honestly mental health. Anxiety and depression have risen 38%, while mental health overall has risen to 41%. I'm Kendall with BDTV, and today we're gonna to talk about mental illnesses and the things that we can do to prevent them. As unfortunate as it is, everybody has to deal with mental health. It's not this thing that's just secluded to a certain group of people. People just handle it differently. For some, it doesn't bother, but for others, it bothers them 24-7. Something you can do to help control your mental health is to talk to people about your feelings, whether it's talking to them about how you feel or listening to how they feel. Hey, girl, how you doing? Hey! You feeling okay? <sighs> I mean, I'm honestly just really stressed. Let's talk about it. Okay, so basically, I just... I... A great way to deal with mental health is by getting outside and being active. The most common mental health symptoms are anxiety and depression. And unfortunately, one in 17 people have had to deal with a mental illness. You may be wondering, is mental health even that important? And the short answer is yes. Mental health affects everybody. Adults and children who are left untreated for mental health issues later go on to hurt themselves and other people. But what can we do? As cliche as it sounds, getting outside and getting active, getting a good night's rest and eating healthy is a way to help control your mental health. As a high school student myself, anxiety has been a big problem in my community, and unfortunately, COVID has only added on to those issues. But very fortunately for us, there are many ways to help solve mental health issues. I'm Kendall with BDTV. If you're feeling like this, please talk to someone because you are not alone in this fight. 